So Red Dead Online comes out at the end of November 2018, according to Take-Two's most recent earnings call, where they discuss Red Dead Redemption 2 sales figures, and also discuss the Grand Theft Auto 5 sales milestone, because they sold over 100 million copies in total. I want to talk about Red Dead Redemption 2 sales figures in a separate video, but this video is all about Red Dead Online, and 18 things that you guys need to know, and what we know so far about the Red Dead Online beta. So what's going on everybody? My name is Zach. Thank you so much for tuning back into my channel. Today what I have for you guys is another Red Dead Redemption 2 video. Like I said, we're talking about Red Dead Online and 18 things you guys need to know. So let's not waste any more time and let's jump right into the first thing and that is you will create your character and it is much more in-depth than Grand Theft Auto 5. In GTA 5, you can customize their facial features, their nose, their hair, piercings, tattoos, skin blemishes, clothing, all of that stuff. It seems like Red Dead Online is going to take a different approach and a more in-depth approach approach. Hopefully it's going to resemble more like creating a character in The Sims rather than GTA 5 because what I didn't like about GTA 5 was the parent system. You had some broad customization options, a lot of in-depth customization options, and a lot of breadth customization options, and you could go in detail with certain features about your character, but it was still determined by the two parents that you gave, the dad and the mom. And so I hope in Red Dead Online we don't have that. We're free to just, you know, build a character from its default or stock setting and totally customize it to our are liking. I hope we see that in Red Dead Online. Number two, you will break out of jail. Not sure where from or how it unwinds. So the only location of a jail or a prison in Red Dead Online that would suit this prologue beginning of Red Dead Online, sort of like how GTA 5 started where you land at the airport and Lamar takes you to your destination where you do your first mission, etc. in online for the prologue. In this game, the prologue, it seems like you're going to be breaking out of jail. The only location that a jail exists that would fit this, like I said, is the Sissica Penitentiary over east of Saint Denis or a little bit northeast, but it seems like that would be a good location for it. Of course, there are jails and roads, Valentine, Saint Denis, Ansberg, etc. But those are more small-term jailhouses, where the Sissica Penitentiary is a big-time jail, and that would be a good place where everyone starts out to do the prologue. Number three, there is a storyline and side storylines. I've talked about this in previous videos. I've wanted there to be a storyline in online. It's about time Rockstar implements this into their games. We can see some side storylines in. Grand Theft Auto Online with each business DLC and the cutscenes and kind of like what happens before and how it affects the business now and why you have that business DLC in the first place. But we don't have an evolving storyline in Grand Theft Auto Online, similar to something like, and I know you guys are going to hate it, but Fortnite. Fortnite has this like low key, really dumb storyline and it makes no sense, but it is something that gets players involved with the game. It has to do with the cube, the runes, you know, the floating islands all around the map, like all this crazy stuff that just gets people involved. There's live events going on in game where if you don't play online in a match at 2 p.m. this Wednesday, you'll never see that event in online. Similar to the rocket event, the cube explosion, all those things. I hope we see similar things that fit Red Dead Redemption in Red Dead Online. But like I said, there is going to be a storyline and side storylines, whether that's through business DLC missions and just an evolving story in general, we are yet to see, but we are totally going to revisit this topic soon for another video. Number four, multiplayer promotes role play and harmony. Two really good things we want in online. Role playing, of course, maybe there's a cops versus robbers aspect to it. Obviously, there's bandits and outlaws, and there's also lawmen, but also harmony, how these two things coexist together, how you're able to play the game going both walks of life, high honor and low honor, and how you're able to synchronize this, how there's a melody to it, and how there's a harmony to it. Number five, if you're constantly killed by another player, you can tell the law. So this may prevent griefing in some aspect. If you're constantly getting killed by someone, and they aren't necessarily getting the law called on them, they don't have a wanted level, they don't have a bounty, what you're able to do, I guess, is run to a prison, tell the sheriff, or something like that. If you see lawmen riding on your horse out in the open range, you can tell them and they will hunt the player down or hire other associates or you can do it yourself. That would be really sweet. If there's bounties in game where other players can go capture other players for bounties, you know, and it's more of a low key thing. Like if you kill them, you get the $300 bounty that they have on their head. That would be a really neat way of earning money in online. Number six, you can interact with players and they can interact back. Now, I don't just mean like voice chat. That's most likely going to be a thing in online. What I mean by interacting is the same way in story where you can interact with NPCs. You use the LT or L2 trigger as the focus button. You can greet them. You can threaten them. You can call out to them. You can antagonize them. You can beat them. You're going to be able to do all these certain functions. That's going to be really unique. We haven't seen that 
in a multiplayer game from Rockstar just yet where you can use a focus button and interact with other players in online and it's going to be neat to see what features are added what features are just brought over and what features are omitted for example if you want to beat one of the other players with your fists what you may need to do is run up to them tackle them and maybe they'll be able to break free by mashing the circle button or mashing the B button but maybe if you're able to get a hold of them you can just press you know circle or B and start beating them until they break free I don't know how we'll have to see it we'll have to see how it works in online but nonetheless it's super cool that we can interact players using the focus button number seven you will get a bounty if you kill another player sometimes in GTA 5 you don't get a wanted level if you actually kill someone it's only if you're next to the police or an NPC sees you and they're next to law themselves in this game you will get a bounty if you kill another player and that brings me back to the point if I kill someone and I get a $50 bounty from it will someone be able to kill me and take that bounty off my head and basically they get $50 on their head or will they be paid $50 right now we have no idea but you guys can bet when I get more information on this I will be making a video on it number eight you can own property and horses including wagons these were things that were leaked by Rockstar Intel and Red Dead base from the companion app and more but it is good because now it's shown that we can own at least 10 homes we can own horses and different wagons and stagecoaches some which are armored some which are called the war wagons and some which even have Gatling guns attached to them number nine content and future content will remain time relevant the reason this is in here is because it seems like everyone in the Red Dead community has this joke that online is gonna be exactly the same as Grand Theft Auto 5 online where you're gonna have gold and rainbow and pink colored horses with wings and you're gonna be able to fly around with jet engines and blow people up with rocket launchers attached to your horse with Gatling guns coming out its ass I don't think that's gonna be the case like they say here it's going to be time relevant you're not gonna have planes in the game and all that stuff you're just gonna have stuff that's specifically for the Red Dead Redemption 2 time period but whether it takes place in 1899 whether it takes place in 1907 we just don't know yet number 10 Red Dead Online is less grindy than Grand Theft Auto 5 but more grindy than single player so let's put this into perspective GTA 5 is at one extreme end of the spectrum where you have to grind your butt off to get all this type of money to be able to survive in online and even just enjoy the content that's out there for you in single player of Red Dead Redemption 2 it's kind of easy to earn money whatever you do you just bring pelts to the trapper you collect bounties you do all these things and you get money in the game in Red Dead Online it's gonna be more similar to the single player where you do all these certain chores but you'll probably be getting less money and of course the currency system in online is going to be different whereas you know in single player you could sell a gold bar for $500 but maybe in online maybe you could still sell it for $500 but the cost of things is gonna be way more so the gold bar even though it's still worth $500 it's not as valuable as it is in single player or if you find a gold bar in online if that's even a thing it may only sell for $25 or something like that if they keep the prices of things from single player and bring them over to multiplayer that's another thing we don't know yet if the prices are going to be the same and it's going to be harder to get money in online or if the prices are going to be increased and how you earn money in the single player is pretty much the same way to earn money in multiplayer again I'll have more videos on that when I figure it out number 11 events pay heavily and promote unique player encounters this is cool Rockstar wants you to interact with the world not only playing free roam and their certain competitive modes but they want you to attend their in-game events and they want you to have unique player encounters with these events number 12 adversary mode will be fun over realism so of course what we've seen in GTA 5 is the different adversary modes where you parachute out of planes into a drop zone you start shooting people or the sumo remix where you force cars out of a circle adversary modes will be making a return into Red Dead Online and like it says here you'll be having more fun over it being more realistic now that's not to say that the items in the game that you use won't be time relevant they still will be but the modes will still be fun maybe it'll be like doing sumo remix on your horses or something or just something crazy like that something that doesn't take away too much from the realism but is still extremely fun is something I'll get behind for Red Dead Online number 13 you can set up and edit camps now we know this from the ultimate edition bonuses that you can actually use a camp in online and also edit your camp you can get different features and you get the survival themed camp if you buy the ultimate edition of Red Dead Redemption 2 and this falls in line with the camps that you can set up and edit once they're already set up in online whether you can camp anywhere or in designated spots across the map that Rockstar will allocate to you we don't know yet of course number 14 you can create posses you can create posses in Red Dead Redemption 1 as well where you can invite up to seven people with you for a total posse count of eight people in online but I think these posses are referring to the social club whereas in GTA 5 online you could create a crew and in Red Dead Online you can probably create a posse which you can have everyone involved in and hopefully it's cross-platform so that you can have Xbox One members and PlayStation 4 in the same posse 
on the social club whether or not you can actually play with them in game number 15 there is at least 50 player levels we know that the ultimate edition bonus at least one of them grants you extra xp and an xp boost up to level 25 and now it's revealed that there is at least 50 player levels i'm sure this is going to take after grand theft auto 5 where we're, maybe we won't have 10,000 player levels but we may have a couple hundred to a couple thousand number 16 you can craft hunt pick herbs and fish so these are all things players were wondering if we can do an online and it does turn out that you can craft different things just like you can in the single player you can hunt different animals so that is confirmation that animals are returning to red dead online people were afraid animals wouldn't be coming to the game because they weren't in grand theft auto 5 online but think about it animals in gta online wouldn't fit the same theme as they do in red dead online in gta online it would just be annoying if you're stealing goods for your business and you hit a deer on the highway out in the desert or something like that it would just really suck but nonetheless you can hunt in red dead online you can also pick herbs to probably craft things as well and you can also fish hopefully they have different leaderboards for this like who's the best crafter who's hunted the biggest animal on that certain day in the online lobby who's caught the biggest fish etc number 17 the lasso is not usable on other players and it might not even be in multiplayer of course these are all coming from leaks compiled by rdr2 today on instagram like i said i'll link his photos down in the description i don't want to put it online just in case rockstar has something going out for these leaks because they have been cracking down on leaks recently but it turns out that the lasso seems to be that it's not usable on other players i didn't expect it to be but maybe i thought you know you could lasso someone and they could quickly cut it with their knife you know just to troll them a little bit but it seems like you won't be able to lasso other players put them on your horse and deliver them to the law or anything like that and rockstar may even add the lasso later or may not even add it into online in the first place or it'll be in the game and they'll just decide to remove it after a certain amount of time we just have to see when online comes out and number 18 red dead online will be a big improvement from gta online and be considerably more consumer friendly this is something that a lot of people hated in grand theft auto online there were a lot of griefers and there was a lot of content in the game where people could just get annoyed griefed and trolled by and the newbies who just started out playing really had no advantage they had no way of earning money considering the people who had a lot of money nowadays maybe started back in 2013 where you were able to constantly replay missions without backing out of the mission log and then going into free roam starting up a new mission etc it's just a huge time waster whereas back when the game launched at least the first couple of weeks all you needed to do was finish a mission and then hit the replay button and you were back in the game earning more money there was no you know decrease of money however many times you completed the mission in a row it wasn't time based or anything like that gta online really made it hard for you to earn money because rockstar of course wanted you to buy shark cards let's see what the case is in red dead online it says that it's more consumer friendly and it's going to be a big improvement rockstar has learned from their mistakes and of course guys just as we had our socks blown off with grand theft auto online's release we're going to have our socks blown off with red dead online again we thought the single player was good i cannot wait for the multiplayer making videos with you guys starting posses you know just getting into trouble it's going to be really awesome thank you guys so much for watching if you guys learned anything from these 18 things about red dead online these news information and leak pieces let me know down in the comments i hope i earned your like on this video as well as if you guys did enjoy please consider subscribing to my channel for daily red dead redemption 2 tips and tricks news and information and live streams like i said thank you so much for watching i hope you guys all have a fantastic day and i will see you guys in the next red dead redemption 2 video peace out